today we are going to discuss about electric braking of dc shunt motor the first one is regenerative braking in the regenerative braking operation the motor operate as a generator while it is still connected to the supply here the motor speed is greater than the synchronous speed mechanical energy is con mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy part of which is returned to be supply <coughs> as heat in the winding and bearing dynamic braking in this method of braking the motor is disconnected from the supply the field connections are reversed and motor is connected in series with a variable resistance or plugging the plugging operation can be achieved by changing the polarity of the motor thereby reversing the direction of rotation of the motor this can be achieved in ac motors by changing the phase sequence and in dc motor by changing the polarity the next one is rheostatic braking in this method of braking the armature is disconnected from the supply and is connected across the variable resistance r plugging or counter current braking in this method of braking connections to the armature terminals are reversed so that motor tends to run in the opposite direction due to the reversal of armature connections both v and eb start acting in the same direction around the circuit in order to limit the armature current to a safe value it is essential to insert a resistor in the circuit while reversing the armature connections plugging plugging is executed at a time when the motor is operating at the point e characteristics a for a low torque tl due to plugging the operating point shift to point e f on characteristics b as the speed of the motor cannot change instantaneously due to inertia regenerative braking this method is used when the load on the motor has overhauling characteristics as in the lowering of the case of a hoist or downgrade motion of electric train regenerative takes place when eb becomes greater than v this happens when the overhauling load acts as a prime mover and so drives the machine as a generator from the characteristics curves it is clear that higher the armature circuit resistance the higher is the speed at which the motor has to run for a given braking torque thank you